Good evening, ladies, as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here with another short Hearthstone guide. In this guide, I'm going to answer the question, how hard is the arena? I wanted to answer this question in a video because, frankly, I've seen some pretty bad misinformation floating about Reddit, the Blizzard forums, and the internet at large in general since pretty much the earliest days of the Hearthstone beta. I've seen people make comments like, oh, it's, uh, it's not too difficult to get up to six wins. Like, oh, if you watch a few streamers, it shouldn't be too hard to get up to, you know, seven or eight wins most of the time. And these are pretty flagrantly in inaccurate statements. Now, it's actually kind of tricky to determine how hard the arena is because you can walk away from it at any time, so the people who are playing at any given time change, and that makes you feel like, oh, well, you know, someone could lose to me here, and then, like, I'll come back, and it'll be someone different, and then they'll lose to me. But at the end of the day, it's a closed system. At the end of the day, every time someone wins a game, someone else has to lose a game. So everybody can't be a champion, and in fact, you can put a pretty close, pretty accurate mathematical cap on how many of the entries that are purchased for the arena end up reaching a particular number of wins. So if we imagine Hearthstone to be a one, excuse me, to be an 8,192 person tournament, we can actually track what happens from round to round. So in the first round, you know, half the people go 1 and 0, the other half of the people go 0 and 1. In the second round, you know, half of the people who are 1 and 0 manage to go up to 2 and 0, the other half drop back to 1 and 1. I'm not going to take you all the way through this, don't worry, but if you want to check out my math, if you want to see the full work, you can click on the link in the description. The bottom line is that at the end of the day, we can actually track where all 8,192 of those people end up and get a pretty accurate read on what percentage of Hearthstone players, or to be very precise, what percentage of Hearthstone entries, or the, each time the purchase button is clicked on the arena menu, what percentage of those end up reaching a particular number of wins. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll to that. So you can see that actually only about 9% of folks who play in the arena end up making it to seven wins. That's the point at which you get back your entry fee. Only 0.65% of people make it to 12 wins. Now, that's 0.65%, so that's like 0 0.0065. Just so we understand what percentage of people are actually getting this far, in the National Football League, there are 32 football teams. If you pick a football team completely at random, it is almost five times more likely to win the Super Bowl than a random Hearthstone player is to get up to 12 wins. Almost five times. So it's it's really difficult to get up here. Now, you obviously have a lot more chances. You know, you can play Hearthstone Arena every day, whereas the Super Bowl is only once a year. But proportionally, that's pretty true. It's actually almost five times as hard to get to 12 wins as it is to take a football team all the way to the Super Bowl and win the championship. Now, even if we look at some of the lower numbers, like 6 wins, 14.45%, that's about 1 in 7. So basically, if you want to get to 6 wins consistently, you need to be better than 6 out of 7 of all of the people who play Hearthstone. Even if you want to make it to 4 wins, look, only 34.38%, roughly, of people who play Hearthstone end up getting to 4 wins and above. Which makes sense, because a hey, at four wins, that may not be a particularly impressive achievement, but you are winning more than you're losing. And it is impossible, mathematically, for everyone to win more than they're losing, because the losses have to come from somewhere. So you almost have to be in the top third of all players just to get to four wins, which we don't even think is that impressive. Now, at three wins, it's exactly 50%. This is not just, like, roughly average. It is mathematically accurate to say that three wins is exactly the median. Because it makes sense. You win just as many games as you lose, so half of the people do that or better, half of the people do worse than that. And in fact, even if you look all the way down at one win, this is still only 87.5% of arena entries, even make it to a single win. That means one out of eight, every eight players is knocked out with zero wins in the arena. Just to put that into perspective... Okay, if you looked at a million Hearthstone players, about 125,000 of them would not get a single win in the arena. It's, it's hard. Now, I don't mean to make this video to scare folks away from playing in, in the arena. In fact, I encourage everybody to play, because the prizes have actually gotten pretty good. They used to be pretty lame. Now, even at the lower ranks, you still get decent gold amounts, and there's still a pretty strong incentive to play in the arena. But you need to appreciate the fact that 
it's not just like a fuzzy wuzzy willy nilly appraisal of how difficult the arena is. There are actually mathematical answers to this. Only a particular percentage of folks can reach any number of wins. Now the good news is that most people aren't really trying to get good. Most people just, you know, play and that's that. Uh, you, always, you always have the people who play and lose and they blame it on luck and don't try to get better. If you actually try to get better, if you watch, you know, my arena runs, Trumps, Crips, Ribos, Hafus, all those really good streamers that are out there, try to learn the game. If you really think about your drafting decisions, if you think about your plays, if you review your games after recording them and analyze your performance, you'll be doing something that almost nobody else is doing, and so you'll be able to get pretty good. If you try to get good, then you can absolutely get good and succeed as long as you have a modicum of strategic thinking and critical reasoning ability. But mathematically speaking, from just a basic objective perspective, the Hearthstone Arena and getting up to any decent number of wins consistently on average is extremely difficult. Only a very small percentage of players can reach those top numbers. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and or subscribe to my channel for more short Hearthstone guides, arena runs, and other videos. Thanks again for watching. I'm Papa Boris, and I'll see you around.